Hello, my friends, foreigners. That's me, Robbie from AccentRangy.com. And currently, I'm speaking with the American accent, as you can tell, most likely. And uh, I'm on a mission to learn American phrases. I'm on the phrase number six. But before I reveal the actual phrase to you, let me rem remind you where I'm getting those phrases from. I'm getting them from my fiction. This is a gun series. Great fiction. If you're into reading, you may as well just start reading in English, in case you haven't been doing that so far. And this is perfect beginning English fiction, to be honest with you, for the simple reason that language use in this book, or to be more specific in this series, because there's a number of books, and uh, I still have to acquire the last one in this series. Language is pretty simple, very friendly, very conversational or colloquial, so to speak, right? And there was a scene, I read it actually today, where a man was searching for a woman. And he was thinking, he was trying to predict where she might have gone. And then he dropped into the mall, she wasn't there. And then he drove through McDonald's, grabbed a cup of coffee, and then he kept searching for her. And eventually he dropped into a movie theater, and there he spotted her car outside. And basically, the phrase that was used to describe all these attempts to find that woman was, it was long shot. And it's how typically a situation like that is described, where your chances of success are quite limited. They're almost non-existent, but you're still giving it a try, right? That could be explained by using this particular phrase, it was a long shot, or it is a long shot, depending on whether you're referring to some past events or something that's ongoing currently, or something you're planning to do, then you can say it's going to be a long shot, right? But basically, it's a long shot means that it's a very unlikely event. Basically, your chances of success are quite limited, very, very small. And uh, that's about it, my friends. That's how you use the phrase, it's a long shot, basically, when you're trying to find someone. Let's say, for instance, your girlfriend or your boyfriend, depending on your gender and on your background, right? Say, for instance, you have an argument, and then she or he runs away. And then you're thinking things through, weighing all the pros and cons, and then you're obviously drawing the simple conclusion that it's worth making up with her or him, and then you're trying to find that person, and you're going after them, even though you don't see that person, but you're trying to predict where they might have gone, you know? And on many occasions, it's a long shot, because you can't possibly know where that person actually is at the given moment, you know? But you're still giving it a try, you're giving it your best shot, which means you're giving uh, your everything, you know what I mean? You're trying your best to find that person. And even though it might be a long shot, it's always worth giving it your best shot, which means it's worth actually investing all your effort, 100% of your effort, in order to achieve that desired goal, you know, that end result. So that's about it, my friends. Today's phrase was, it's a long shot. This was the sixth American phrase. I've learned uh, within the framework of this particular mission and tomorrow morning I'm going to record the seventh phrase and the eighth is going to follow in the evening and so on and so forth until I've covered all 50 phrases and to be honest with you guys I don't even know what the next phrase is going to be I'm going to pick it tomorrow morning and I'm going to learn it and I'm going to add it onto my active vocabulary which means I'm going to be using that phrase, and what I'm doing during the day is I'm using all those old phrases, the ones I've learned so far in the mission, you know, the first one was tell you what, followed by it spells trouble, zoned out, have you a beef with me, and the last one, the previous one was, I'm not really sure what it was, it has wrong written all over it, and today's phrase is it's a long shot. All right, my friends, thanks for watching and see you soon again.
tomorrow. To be more specific, bye-bye.